It was quite the experience. We, uh, as you said, it, we weren't. It certainly wasn't in the birth plan to deliver in the back of our Subaru Outback. But uh, Charlene woke up around 3:30 with her first contractions, and she's extremely tough. And she just kind of said, "It's okay. Go back to sleep." I feel pretty bad about going back to sleep now, but a couple hours later, I woke up, and Charlene said, "I think it's time we should go." And we got everything together. I grabbed the bag, and we went outside. And uh, I got in the driver's seat. Charlene was in the back. I started to pull out and I noticed that uh, it was time. And uh, there was no, we weren't going anywhere. So what I did was I put the car in park and went to the back seat and um, I saw a crowning and I said it's okay. So I, I called 911. They were sending an ambulance um, but I couldn't speak to them while I was doing my duties. So I, I dropped the phone and received the baby autumn. It was a very fast process, but it was the most intense day of my life, I will say. So that's that's the short of it. I, I, I pulled a little MacGyver move. I pulled a lace off of my moccasin and tied the umbilical cord off, and we waited for help. Now, and, did you have any, cons any possible past training? That would have uh, that would have helped you here. Uh, not particularly. I work in the health. Uh, I'm, I'm a sales rep for orthopedic supplies, so that's really not that's not really qualifying me to do this. But uh, I had to. I couldn't just you know. I kind I acted on instinct, and it's amazing what you can do in in a situation like that. It's unbelievable what your mind and body just you just you go on autopilot and you react. And we're very lucky. Beautiful mom, beautiful baby, healthy. This wasn't the game plan here. What was going through your mind when you realized, uh-oh, we may not make the hospital here? Yeah, it was um, it was very intense. It happened so fast. Um, I really wasn't thinking much except I knew we weren't going to make it to the hospital. Um, it literally happened in a matter of 10, 15 minutes tops. And Kenny was really great. He was so calm and collected, even though he may not have felt that way. <laughs> he was uh, really just taken charge and um, you know t let me know that everything was okay either way and it happened so quick honestly I really didn't have much time to think of anything else <laughs> so and everything uh, and, and baby's great and uh, yes she was very healthy uh, she's she's been great no problems and on the way you know the ambulance ride over everything was fine we're we're very you know very lucky. Everything was great, and she's happy and healthy, and there was no complications or problems. Now, um, is this your first child? Yep. Okay. Yes, this All is right. my first. <laughs> okay. Now, there's there's women that go through labor for oh yes. 24, 48 hours. So I know. I, you know. I guess you can look on the flip side and say, well, <laughs> I guess I was lucky, right? Well, that's a big reason why we didn't leave sooner. I didn't really know what to expect. This is my first, and I definitely didn't think three hours I was going to be delivering after feeling my first contraction. <laughs> so uh, I thought we had plenty of time, and turns out even just living, you know, eight minutes away from the hospital, it just wasn't fast enough. So <laughs> it happened the way it did, and it, it was great. It was an amazing experience. It really was.